The Invictus program was designed as an open label parallel group trial comparing treatment with vitamin K antagonists or rivaroxaban in rheumatic heart disease with atrial fibrillation. It was an international multicenter randomized study. A registry of 17,000 patients was also planned to document the contemporary clinical course of patients with rheumatic heart disease, including a focused substudy on pregnant women with RHD within the registry. RHD is considered as a neglected disease affecting 33 million people, mainly in low-income and middle-income countries. The study enrolled 4,565 patients of which 4,531 were included in the final analysis. Mean age was 50.5 years and 72.3% were women. It is interesting to note that permanent discontinuation of trial medication was more common with rivaroxaban than with vitamin K antagonist therapy at all visits. Echocardiographically documented rheumatic heart disease with atrial fibrillation and any of the following risk factors were included in the study. Charts was score of at least 2, mitral valve area 2 square centimeter or less, left atrial spontaneous echo contrast, and left atrial thrombus. The primary outcome assessed in the study was a composite of stroke, systemic embolism, myocard infarction, or death from vascular or unknown causes. The primary safety outcome assessed was major bleeding according to the International Society of Thrombosis and Hemostasis. 560 patients in the Rivaroxaban group and 446 patients in the vitamin K antagonist group had a primary outcome event in the intention to treat analysis. There was a higher incidence of death in the Rivaroxaban group than in the vitamin K group. Surprisingly, there was no significant difference in the major bleeding between the two groups. The restricted mean survival time was 1,599 days in the Rivaroxaban group and 1,675 days in the vitamin K antagonist group. A low stroke risk noted in this enriched cohort of RHDAF has prompted a call for risk stratification before oral anticoagulation. It has been mentioned that the perception of very high stroke risk in RHD is reinforced by estimates of stroke burden based on extrapolation from the proportion of stroke admissions who have RHD rather than the proportion of stroke attributable to RHD in the community. The former rate is 3 to 8 percent while the latter rate is only 1 to 2 percent. Here are the relevant journal references. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, like, share and post your valuable comment below this video. Kindly press the bell icon after that for getting all updates.